almost all households now have smart meters installed. So, how do smart meters work and can they save you money? What is a smart meter? A smart meter is a digital electricity meter that measures electricity flowing in and out of your home at 30-minute intervals. It communicates your home's energy use to the meter service provider, usually on a daily basis. Once a smart meter is installed, there's no need for a meter reader to visit the property. In contrast, the older style electricity meters with a dial face measure only passive accumulation and can only display the amount of electricity used between the three monthly manual readings. Digital interval meters can also record electricity consumption in 30-minute intervals, but unlike smart meters they aren't able to communicate that data to the provider. Interval meters do allow time-of-use pricing, but they still need to be read or have the information downloaded. Why should I get a smart meter? A smart meter reveals more detailed energy consumption and solar PV export data compared to old accumulation meters, which could help you find ways to be more energy efficient lets you connect or disconnect remotely, avoiding delays when moving or swapping electricity retailers allows better monitoring of the quality of electricity supply, including outages could let third parties help customers analyze the data to find cheaper electricity plans offers the customer a wider range of payment and pricing options such as flexible or time-of-use pricing reveals usage data to assist when designing suitable solar and battery systems may allow customers to trade their energy in the future can a smart meter help me choose the right size solar or battery system Smart meter data provides critical household usage patterns that are helpful when sizing up a new solar PV system for your home, according to Dean Lombard, senior energy analyst with the Alternative Technology Association. But if you're looking to expand a system or add batteries, on its own it doesn't show the full picture of generation and consumption, only net import and export measured at the meter. If you like the latest energy saving technology and knowledge, please follow our channel. Lombard says, when Arta does analysis, we have our own models of solar generation that we use in conjunction with usage data. If there is an existing solar PV system and they are looking at an upgrade, we use our solar generation model in conjunction with their meter data to get a good approximation of their usage and their generation. Some inverters record total generation data so that also helps. Nigel Morris from Solar Analytics says, Access to usable data is a big issue for customers with smart meters. 30% of homes now have solar and some, but not all, of these have smart meters. But almost none of these meters will show you how much solar PV electricity you've generated or consumed in gross terms. This means solar owners can't see how much the solar consumed on the premises has saved them or the potential of a battery in the system, or even what their real energy consumption is. Smart meters only measure and share net energy flows which is completely useless and deceptive for design purposes, says Morris. The interval of data is typically 30 minutes, so it doesn't show the granular picture of energy flows that are required to determine optimal battery design. How can a smart meter save me money? There's a pattern to how we consume energy. High energy use times are weekday mornings, afternoons and evenings. Unsurprisingly, low energy use times are overnight when we're all sleeping. If a large number of electricity customers shift their energy use to off-peak times, there's less need for expensive upgrades as the current network infrastructure can be used more efficiently. Beyond regular or flat rate pricing tariffs, retailers offer flexible pricing plans or time of use tariffs to customers with interval and smart meters to incentivize customers to use cheaper, off-peak energy. A typical flexible pricing plan operates across three time periods, peak, off-peak and the shoulder. It could look like this, but they vary widely in both pricing and times. Peak 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. weekdays, 
not public holidays, shoulder 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. weekdays, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. weekends and public holidays off peak 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. everyday peak prices are more expensive than a flat rate, while the off peak rate should be lower. The shoulder period may be just slightly lower than a flat rate. Flexible pricing won't suit everyone. It will be most beneficial for households that use a lot of energy in the cheaper off-peak periods. Flexible pricing isn't necessarily cheaper for customers either. This will all depend upon the prices, times and your usage patterns. Tip. If you're on a flexible tariff, check when it switches from peak to off-peak in the evenings. It could be 10 p.m. or it could move to a shoulder period after 8 p.m. Run your dishwasher and any other appliances when it kicks into off-peak. Tip. When upgrading your appliances look for a time delay capacity. You can then set him to turn on when off-peak pricing kicks in, even if you're asleep. Or if you have solar, when the sun is shining. The most suitable appliances to shift to off-peak times are those which guzzle energy and don't need to be used on demand throughout the day. These include washing machines, dryers, dishwashers, hot water heaters, pool pumps. If you like the latest energy-saving technology and knowledge, please follow our channel.